Kim Robbins and her husband Ian both have a rich history in greyhound racing, which led to them meeting at Oxford, getting married and now training dogs together. My dad was uh, an owner to start with and then he was a trainer and I met Ian at Oxford because he was working there as a kennel hand. <laughs> and you were already into greyhound racing as well? Yeah, I've been in it all my life when, since I can remember. My friend's dad used to train, so used to go open racing with him all over the country and sort of stayed friends and I worked for him for a little while and yeah, and that's how me and Kim met. How many years ago is that, Kim? 27 years ago. <laughs> 27 years ago and, and now, sort of in the last few years, it's come about that you, you really are living your kind of dream lives. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, we love the dogs and we sort of always had a plan that we wanted to move to an area that we could do the dogs together and be together and, uh, and finally that's what we've managed to do. It's a very one-on-one -on -one relationship you have with all your dogs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're our little babies. Is that the way you like it to be? Yes, yeah, we do. So, for example, earlier we saw Robin, who really likes to have her dinner on her bed. Yeah, she's, uh, she would tip it over otherwise. <laughs> It'd be all over the floor. <laughs> she actually takes it to her bed? Yeah, she would, yeah. <laughs> You're with the dogs all day and you really get to know their ways in. Do you think that's important to make them happy? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean... You get that one-to-one -one connection, you find their little things they like and things they don't like and it, and it makes it easy for yourself and also for them as well. I mean, the main thing is that they're happy and, and it's just finding what makes them click. Sometimes it can be fun finding it out, but uh, they're, they're great fun. They go out for plenty of walks in a day. You guys dedicate all your time to them, don't you? Yes, we do. We take them out four or five times a day, but we've also got paddocks that they can go out in as well. So they're, they're pretty much sort of occupied all day, your dogs? Yeah, they keep us occupied too. What are your beliefs for training? Uh, we don't gallop a lot. If the dogs are running consistently well and uh, like every week, I don't see the point in galloping them. We've got the paddocks where they can run about. And um, I think unless they're coming back from a long break where you might need to give them a gallop or two, which we would do, um, otherwise what we've got is perfect for what we need. And you have the use of the whirly here as well, which we've seen Parker's Poison go around today. She's obviously retired, but do you use that for your races? Yeah, we'll put the races around it. Um, we're a little bit more mindful because it's a little bit tighter of the bigger dogs if they go around it, but they all seem to run within themselves anyway, but they love it. I mean, we don't have to do nothing. We just let them off the lead and away they go and they just enjoy themselves and we have a little fun with them and play with them and they love it, yeah. You've made a lot of changes to this property since you moved here three years ago, haven't you? Yes, we have, yeah. We've built all these kennels and, yeah, done a lot of work. But this is a really nice kennel facility, Ian, and in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't extortionate. It's maybe something that other people could think about. Oh, yeah, I mean, it didn't cost us a huge amount considering what we've done. I mean, we made the base ourselves, so we, so we did chip in and do a lot of work ourselves, but the total cost would be around about 40000 for... 10 double kennels and a kitchen facility and an area that we can work on the dogs as well uh, and the outside paddocks uh, undercover paddocks so in the scheme of things uh, that's not too bad if you look at the current market of trying to build some kennels. It's a really cold day here as well today but nice and cozy in here. Yeah we made sure that we had 100 mil insulation put in the whole of the building and we've all got bar heaters that are all the way around the building so if we need a little bit extra heat we can put them on as well but we always try to keep it running around about 15 16 17 degrees uh, the dogs seem to love it there's no need for jackets and they're nice and snug and they've got duvets on their beds as well so they're, they're, they get a, treated better than i do i think <laughs> well you said that they're your babies kim and you do literally put them to bed at night don't you yes we do yeah <laughs> tuck them in with their duvets and a, and a nice dental tube <laughs> yeah they get tucked in with their duvets and the dental sticks Longer days in the summer, shorter days in the winter? Yeah, yeah. We sort of tend to take them out a bit more in the summer and we'll go out a bit later. What's your favourite thing about training greyhounds? I just love being around the dogs. It's just what I enjoy. So you brush your little tufty bit. We used to live further down south. Uh, we got ourselves into a lucky position that buying our house, um, once it was all paid off, we sort of made the decision that we wanted to have a few less dogs. We wanted to enjoy our company a little bit more as well as the dogs. So we decided to move a little bit further north and um, use the money that we'd made from our uh, work to fund this project. And in terms of owners, Kim, do you have owners here? Yes, we've got a little syndicate of owners and they're all people that have had dogs with me previously or my dad. 
and yeah, we're a nice little little syndicate. <laughs> It works well because basically you're all friends, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. We're all friends. We even if we go out for a night out, it might not even be the dogs. You know, we all get on. I go on holiday with a few of them, and so we have a great time. And it's uh, it's brilliant. It works well for us. Uh, never have a bad argument at all. They leave us to do what needs to be done with the dogs, and uh, yeah, it's great fun. We enjoy it so much. <laughs>